Hello everyone, my name is Samantha and welcome to my channel if you have not been here before. <laughs> I'm a three year stage four breast cancer survivor and I'm making a new video every Tuesday in October to spread awareness. Today I just wanted to make a quick video about the signs and symptoms of breast cancer, um, what my symptoms were, and how to check yourself for these signs. You're never really too young to start doing a self breast exam. I mean, I found my cancer when I was 22, that's when I was diagnosed, and obviously did not expect it. Had many people telling me that that was super unlikely, that it wasn't cancer. Um, if you want to hear my whole story, I have another video on my channel explaining how I you know, found out I had cancer. There is a phrase that people have gone away from, but I still like it, and that is early detection saves lives. The reason people have gone away from it is because when you find out you have breast cancer and you're diagnosed in an early stage before stage four, the cancer is curable at that point and it's usually treatable and you're not going to die from it most likely. But 33% of people who've had early stage breast cancer later on develop stage four breast cancer. So they're like, hey, early detection doesn't really save lives because even if you find it early, you could still get stage four breast cancer later. Yeah, it doesn't save lives in every case, but it is really important to find the breast cancer as fast as possible. It gives you individually the best chance at survival. So to do a self breast exam, everyone's gonna have different opinions on how exactly to do this, but the main thing that you really just need to make sure that you're doing is doing it regularly. Um, a lot of people set a reminder to try to do this once a month. I was not doing this before I found out I had cancer. I'd only had one checkup at, a, at my doctor's office before where they checked my breasts. It was just not something that was on my mind at all. I should have started a lot earlier. I probably would have started around age 18 if I had known about any of this. Men also get breast cancer, so like, don't forget about that. Anyway, the most important thing that you do is you just look at yourself. A lot of people decide that the best time to do this is right before they're taking a shower or right after or both or during the shower um, because they can, they're obviously not usually wearing clothes then, <laughs> usually. They're not usually wearing clothes when they take a shower. What you wanna do is you just wanna look at the breast area from basically like collarbone down to the undersides of your breast. Also check underneath your armpits. Your breast tissue does extend into your armpits. I'm wet because I just went outside because it's snowing and my husband wanted me to bring in the herb plants <laughs> that we have outside. The other thing you need to do is just feel around that same area. So feel around the breast, feel around under the arm, up to your collarbone, just see if you could feel any kind of lump and we'll talk more about what we're looking for in a minute. People are gonna have different opinions on how to feel around, but it doesn't really matter. However it works for you is fine. Just look for changes and things that seem unusual to you. Most women have an annual checkup with their primary care doctor or their gynecologist. Obviously still go to those. The doctor knows what they're looking for, but nobody knows your body better than you do, and you should really be doing these kind of more often than once a year. <laughs> Even if you don't have any kind of family history or any kind of risk, these things happen all the time. People get diagnosed that are super healthy. It can happen to anybody. Okay, so let's look more at the signs and symptoms of breast cancer and what you're looking for. The first thing that's really easy to figure out is pain. If you have any pain in your breasts that is not normal, a lot of people do get sensitive breasts around their period or if they're pregnant, obviously, but if this is a new pain that you're not used to feeling at certain times in your cycle, that's definitely concerning and you should go get that checked out. One thing that I really wanna say is that you do not have to just find a lump to be diagnosed with breast cancer. There are lots of different types of breast cancer and they don't all come with like a big tumor in the breast that you're gonna be able to feel. So there's other signs and symptoms that you should be watching out for too. Another thing to look for is change in the size and the shape of the breast. So obviously if you're like going through puberty, then your breasts are gonna get bigger. But if you're like past that and they're like getting bigger all of a sudden, um, that is something to be a little concerned about. Um, just watch that and make sure your doctor knows about that. If the skin on your breast starts to look different, if there's some dimpling happening, that's another thing that you should definitely go and get checked out. If your breasts are swelling, I'm currently pregnant and that happened to me when I first got pregnant. They definitely swelled and got a little painful. Um, that didn't have to do with the breast cancer at all, but um, if you're not pregnant, <laughs> and you're not on your period and you're noticing swelling and changes in your breast, 
uh, that can be an indicator. Another thing is if your breasts are really warm. So when I found my lump, something that was strange to me about it was how warm it was. It was like clearly an infection there. And obviously if you find a lump, so if you feel your breast, you shouldn't feel like a big hard lump in there. Um, sometimes you can feel like soft stuff in there. That's not usually as concerning, but if you feel any sort of lump that is different from what you're used to, if you're doing these self breast exams a lot, then you should have an idea of what your breasts normally feel like. And if you start to feel anything that's different, then you should definitely go get that checked out by your doctor. These lumps can be in your breast, they can be up into your chest, up to your collarbone, um, and then they can be under your armpits. When I found my lump in my breast, I also had pain under my left armpit. And then you also want to check your nipples. So there's lots of things that can go on with those, like they can become inverted. You want to check for that. You want to see if they get a rash or like the area around them gets a rash or becomes um, bumpy or itchy. If the color around your nipples or around your breasts changes at all, it turns purple or like just really red, um, that's concerning. If you start to get some discharge from your nipple, you should also talk to your doctor about that. And if you just have pain in your nipples, just like if you had pain in your breast, it would be something that you need to talk to your doctor about. Basically to be safe, just call your doctor if you notice anything different about your breast. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? And if you have a good doctor, they're not gonna make you feel bad about that or anything. You should definitely be looking at these things and checking for these signs. They don't want you to get cancer either. Okay, so quickly I'm just gonna talk about what happened in my case because a lot of times people are interested. Like I said, breast cancer can happen to anyone. I was 22, I had just graduated from college when I found my breast cancer. It was actually the day after Valentine's Day and my boyfriend at the time, who is now my husband, um, was sitting on the couch with me. We were watching a movie. We might've been watching a TV show, but I couldn't tell you what it is anymore. He came up behind me and he hugged me from behind. So his arms were around me like this and he kept squeezing tighter and tighter and tighter until I was like, okay, stop doing that. It kind of hurts in my left breast. And I didn't really think anything of it because I was like, okay, my breasts are sensitive sometimes at different points in my cycle. And it's not that weird because he was squeezing really tight. A couple minutes go by and I'm like, it's still hurting like a little bit. So I put my hand there and I felt a really, really warm, spot on my breast and I felt a lump. This was not something that I had ever even noticed before, okay? At this point, the lump in my breast was three and a half by three and a half centimeters. And the reason that I didn't notice it was because it was kind of deep into my breast tissue and it didn't look any different. So when I looked at myself in the mirror, my left breast and my right breast were the same size. They look exactly the same. There was nothing that I could see in the mirror just looking at my breasts that looked unusual at all. That's something that I want to tell people a lot because a lot of times people think that you need to have, you know, redness or swelling or nipple discharge or something and that is, that's when you go to the doctor but no, like nothing looked weird at all. And the only, only reason that I noticed it was because he happened to squeeze me super, super tight. This was on a Friday so I waited until Monday to call my doctor. I waited to see if the lump went away or if there were any changes and there was no changes at all. At this point, I was aware of the lump so I was able to feel it and be able to tell like if anything was going on with it. When I went into the doctor, she told me that it really wasn't anything to worry about, that it was would be super rare for me to have cancer and I believed her because I didn't think that I had cancer. I just thought that the lump was uncomfortable and that now that I noticed it, I kind of wanted it to be gone and go away. When you look at lumps in your breast, people say if you can move them around or if they are more circular, um, then they're not really as concerning as if they're an irregular shape or if you can't move them. When I went in there, she told me that my lump was a regular shape and she told actually told me that it kind of moved around, which I'm not really sure if it did. I don't really understand how that makes sense because I don't know how you can tell if things move around. Maybe it's because I didn't really have one that really moved, but it, I just feel like your breast can move around in so many directions. It can kind of feel like your breast is moving. And it can kind of feel like the lump is moving. So I don't know. Anyway, my point is that you should go to the doctor if you notice any lump. You shouldn't try to look up and be like, oh, is it soft? Can I move it? Is it circular? Just go get it checked out if you're worried about it. If it's something new, that hasn't been there before, just go get it checked out. 
My doctor sent me home with antibiotics because she thought it was an infection that would just go away. Obviously the antibiotics didn't work and that's when I got an ultrasound. Like I said, I have a whole story on my channel of how I found out I had cancer, so if you want more details on that, go check that out. But I really did want to explain the th symptoms that I noticed just to make people aware that you do not have to have a lot of symptoms, you do not have to have noticeable symptoms. Th this can be a thing that happens that you don't even know is happening. Some people don't eat, find out until they go to their first mammogram. Obviously I wasn't getting mammograms because they don't usually recommend them until you're over 40, I think. But if you are over 40, you have a way higher risk of breast cancer, so don't skip out on your mammogram appointment because that might be the only time that you notice anything wrong is from seeing it in that mammogram because everything else can look and feel completely normal. The lump was warm and the lump was hard, but like I said, I really just wouldn't have noticed it if my boyfriend hadn't hugged me that hard. <laughs> okay, so that's basically it. This video really isn't meant to scare anyone. I get a lot of younger women who come up and ask me, is this normal, is this normal? And most of the time, yes it is, but if you're concerned about anything, go talk to your doctor. I'm not a doctor and you definitely shouldn't just take advice from people on the internet. As your only source of information. <laughs> this video really is just to spread awareness and to let you know that you should be checking yourself every so often to make sure you notice if anything weird is going on and you should definitely be following up with your regular checkups. If you need more tips on how to do a self breast exam or if you need more help on figuring out what signs and symptoms you need to watch out for, I really recommend talking to your gynecologist or your primary care doctor. Um, they can give you a lot more information and they are in the medical world. Breast cancer treatment is improving every day and people are surviving and living a long time with breast cancer or having their breast cancer cured if it's in the early stages. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and if you're interested in more cancer related topics, I have a lot more videos on my channel so feel free to check those out and subscribe if you want. Yeah, that's all, bye!